Hello friends. I come to you today from a river or lake right outside of Gunnison. I think just to the north of Gunnison, Colorado. And I was just thinking as I drove by uh, how little decisions in life uh, just kind of multiply upon themselves and change the course of one's life. And the reason that I, th I think of this as I come through Gunnison is that back when I was 16 years old, my mother and I had been talking about moving out west. And our plan was, I already had a horse, was to buy a second horse, which we did, and ride our horses out west. And go all the way, just spend a whole summer riding across the uh, uh, country from Tennessee to Colorado-ish, we were kind of thinking. Uh, we had our minds set on Gunnison. Uh, until we talked to somebody, uh, a lady we were working with at Dollywood in uh, East Tennessee, and she'd spent some time in Jackson Hole and said, hey, if you make it up that far north, stop into Bubba's Barbecue, tell the folks there I said hi, and uh, eh, we ended up not even coming to Gunnison. We ended up going to uh, Jackson Hole instead and made that our home, and that was when I was 16. Now I'm... 46, I guess. Oh, so I guess it's been 30 years. And I, what would have happened had we moved here to Gunnison? There's this beautiful lake here that you can see in the background. What if I'd really gotten an interest in taking a, a kayak out and playing on the lake and then decided to be a, a skipper on a cruise ship? Is that a position? I don't know. But what if I decided to get into the, the maritime industry? Or, or what if I'd run into a... Uh, a school teacher here if I'd gone to government schools and decided to be a, a government employee school teacher. Uh, what if I had gotten into welding and now had a welding shop in Gunnison, Colorado? What if I had, what if I had? There are so many what ifs. There's a, a really good chance that I wouldn't have an awesome daughter and three awesome grandchildren. I wouldn't have an awesome wife. It wouldn't be, well, you know what, I might, but she wouldn't be as awesome as the one I currently have. And uh, I wouldn't have spent 10 years as a cop. I might not have the same philosophic views that I have. I might have gone down a very different route. Uh, I might not have a bachelor's degree and never used it. I think it's social science or social, yeah, social science, social studies, something like that. Uh, who knows? Maybe I would have gone to, uh, gone to government high schools and never ended up getting the GED that I instead got in Jackson, Wyoming. How would life have gone? One little different twist, one little decision. Eh, hey, you want to go to Jackson or you want to go to Gunnison? Yeah, let's go to Gunnison. And I might have never even visited Jackson up to this point. And that became such a huge part of my life. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of acquaintances because of my time in Jackson and hundred pretty decent friends or, or, you know, a step between friends and acquaintances and many handfuls of pretty darn good friends. I wouldn't have spent my time in California. I spent uh, two and a half, three years there and, and met some great people and had some experiences that were wonderful and horrible and really helped shape my life might not have happened if we'd taken that, that left-hand turn instead of that right-hand turn. Isn't it interesting? And I bet if you look back in your life, you can find those pivotal moments that truly change the course of your life. It's interesting to ponder, and it's interesting for us to ask ourselves, which way are we going to turn tomorrow? Left or right? Or are we going to go straight ahead? Are we going to go on the road less traveled? Are we going to forge our own road? Or take the road well-traveled? 